All right, it's time to make a big deal of all the work that you did and align everyone in the company around your shared purpose. You're not only going to tell everyone where you're going, but you're also going to invite them in to help you get there. This is fascinating stuff. So when you bring your team together for an all staff, walk them through the decision-making playbook, encourage questions, record the event for anyone who can't attend live. Now I'll offer one word of caution for your first post offsite all staff meeting. Leave your mission, vision, and values out and start with your goals. Now I say this because the first time through the mission, vision, values exercise, teams tend to be overly flowery and aspirational. They often land on what they want to be true, not necessarily what is true. So because of this gap and for a few other reasons, the company decisions don't 100% align with the values that you identified. This leads to confusion, apathy, and skepticism in the staff and actually does more harm to your culture than good. So sit on your mission, vision, and values for at least six months. That will give you time to discuss and further refine your mission, vision, and values at two more quarterly offsite meetings. It will also provide you with the time to model those values from the top because culture is more often caught than taught. And once you've lived out and modeled and made decisions that are consistent with your mission, vision, and values for several months, you'll be ready to share them publicly. And when you do, you will be amazed at the results. The words that you share with your staff will match your actions and like rocket fuel, you'll see the culture in your organization take off. Now with that, I wanna say well done. You've reached the end of the ultimate guide to holding an incredible executive offsite. If you've watched every video, then you now have everything you need to lead an elite level game-changing offsite. If you're seeing this on social media and haven't seen the other videos, don't worry, you can catch up using the link in the description below or checking out the previous videos we've posted. Now, I wanna leave you with a final word. There's no doubt about it, executive offsite meetings are hard work, but when they're done right, they are massively rewarding. When it comes to creating clarity and momentum in an organization, I've not found any other practice that holds a candle to a great offsite meeting cadence. You've prepared well, you've had a highly productive meeting, and you've communicated the results clearly. Now it's time to take action. But before you do, make sure you schedule your next executive offsite for next quarter so you can carry all that momentum through to the next quarter, next year, and next decade. Well, now that you know how to run a killer executive offsite meeting, you can take your business to the next level. However, it can be a lot to manage all of these different issues, logistics, and concepts, while also participating in the meeting and making decisions about your company's direction. Now, if you'd like help making your next or even your first executive offsite a success, then use the link in the description below to schedule a free consultation. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have about how this specifically applies to your business or even help facilitate the meetings themselves so that you can be free to focus 100% of your energy on making the best decisions for your company.